Hello and welcome to a new season and a new year. My name is Rafael Bonacella and I am the artistic director of Sydney Dance Company. As we celebrate the power that dance has to bring us back together, I want to acknowledge the First Nations peoples of the lands on which we all stand today and pay tribute to elders past and present. Well, here we are. After two somewhat tumultuous years, I am so excited to introduce you to an incredible year of dance. We have six world premieres, two encore works, a national tour, an international tour, a festival appearance, an independent dance season, and a performance under the starry skies of Sydney. After what seems like months of dancing in lounge rooms, on screens, and on our own, we're dizzy with the prospect of performing for you again. Our year opens with a bang. A matter of days after the last firework explodes over the Sydney Opera House, we take to the stage on the 6th of January, performing an iconic work and opening the Sydney Festival. Decadance is a sparkling statement from Batsheva Dance Company's Ohad Naharin, the choreographer and company who brought the groundbreaking Gaga movement language to the world. Decadance is a compilation of excerpts of Ohad Naharin's works. Decadance will propel our dancers into more eccentric and experimental places than ever before. And that is not our last performance of the summer. Before we pack our bags and get on a plane to France, we will hop on the Manly Ferry to North Head to present Impermanence and an excerpt from Up Intra at Sydney's newest outdoor event a night at the barracks. Where better to enjoy the best of Sydney Dance Company, joined by the Australian String Quartet, than under the sparkling Sydney sky? And then we're off, off to France to perform up intra in four French towns and cities, and enjoy an incredible prestigious two-week residency in the Théâtre National de Chaillot in Paris. I am so thrilled that after our debut in Paris in 2018, we have been invited to return for an extended season. And if that was not exciting enough, the dancers and I will fly further west in April for a week of performances of Up Intra in the home of dance in the USA, the Joyce Theatre in New York. It's been three years since we had the privilege of taking Australian dance to the world. And what a way to kickstart our travels. Up Intra comes home to Sydney in June, the first of our subscription productions at the Rosling Packer Theatre, on stage from the 3rd to the 11th of June. It will have been 15 long months since we last took to the stage of the Ross, and we can't wait to welcome you back there. I am also delighted to announce that our new major partners, LG Signature, will be the presenting partner for App Intra in Sydney. Our partnership with LG Signature is the perfect union of two like-minded companies for whim, invention, attention to detail, and the marriage of art and technology align in the pursuit of perfection. I am so pleased to welcome LG Signature to the SDC family. And as winter descends on Australia, we hit the road again for one of our biggest ever national tours. I am absolutely delighted that along with our dear friends, the Australian String Quartet, we will bring my work in permanence to 13 locations across Australia, from Brockhampton to Kaowoolie, concluding with a week of performances at the Arts Centre in Melbourne in September. One of the things the dancers and I have missed most during these two strange years has been performing for audiences across Australia. I am delighted to tell you that our Regional Schools Workshops program is back in real life in the school halls and studios of Australia. This now sits alongside the digital season for schools, which has been one of the highlights of our COVID achievements. As spring blossoms into a Sydney summer, we're back again at the Rosling Packer Theatre with our second season, Resound. This triple bill of unique works traces an arc of emotions, moving from a dark, turbulent interrogation of recent times through to a buoyant optimism that I know will engage your heart and soul. I am delighted that Ocho is returning to the stage as the first part of the evening. 
The driving score by my wonderful collaborator Nick Wells with the haunting vocals of indigenous artist Ramon Mamoun. And the powerful set design by David Flasher have huge impact. Set in a classroom, eight dancers searching for salvation and connection, finding a self for the troubles of the world. The second half of the program delivers two world premieres. I am making a new work, Sama. The sound of the cicada signals new beginnings to me, warmth, hope and lightness, as the world turns over a new leaf. Australian composer Kate Moore's evocative score, Cicadia, performed by the Australian String Quartet, will be the oral backdrop to my summer. And I will be working for the first time with the unmistakable masters of color, Romance was born, on costume. Light, bright and bursting with life, Summer will have your spirits soaring. A new work by Stephanie Lake, choreographer of the absolutely stunning Colossus, is always a treat. And I am thrilled that we have commissioned this incredibly important Australian dance artist to create a world premiere for the third piece in the ReSound program. New work, the next generation of Australian artists and the future of Australian dance run through everything that we do. And I am so pleased to announce that New Breed will return to Courage Works in December for its ninth edition. With the unwavering support of the Valnais Foundation, New Breed has now seen more than 30 emerging choreographers present world premiere works. And I cannot wait to see what's in store this coming year. The 2022 choreographers will be announced in the spring. Watch this space. Now we have moved back into the stunning surroundings of our refurbished home on the wharf. We have our own theater, the Nielsen Studio, where I am standing today. I am delighted that 2022 will see the inaugural season in August of In Dance. Supported by the City of Sydney, it is a curated program of new Australian work created by independent choreographers and dance artists. When I was a young choreographer, I was hungry for the opportunity to share my work with audiences. And I am now so happy that Sydney Dance Company can bring independent artists and audiences together. Expressions of interest are open from the 8th of December and tickets will be on sale for in dance later in the year. So that's it, a packed year that takes us from Lyon to Wyong and New York to Wagga Wagga. I want to thank our wonderful funders and partners who have stood strong beside us every step of the way over the last two years. The Australia Council for the Arts, the New South Wales government, and of course, all of our donors and supporters. Without each and every one of you, we would not be emerging like a cicada into the sunlight to a fresh start, a new year and with renewed hope. I cannot wait to see you in the theater in 2022.